I have owned this Samsung Galaxy S10e for quite some time, so in this video, I want to show you its main features, talk about its strengths, and whether it can still be considered this year, how it performs, and if it can be a useful and suitable device for everyone's common needs. Its first significant feature is its compact size and astonishingly light weight. In fact, it has a 5.8-inch display and weighs only 150 grams, making it a manageable phone, easy to carry and use in everyday life, and unlikely to tire your hand during intensive use. The design is very simple with good quality materials, aluminum, and glass, making it elegant and good-looking. It also has a fingerprint sensor in the side power button, useful for unlocking the phone or making payments. This is different from the new models that have the sensor integrated into the display, but the difference is essentially negligible, as it is very accurate and reliable. Moving on to the speakers, the Samsung Galaxy S10e is equipped with an audio system that includes two stereo speakers, one located at the top of the phone and another at the bottom near the USB-C port. The sound quality of the speakers is generally quite good, with the bass being a bit lacking in my opinion, but the highs are well pronounced, allowing you to hear voices clearly in calls or when listening to multimedia content, movies, games, or social media. Additionally, it has a 3.5mm headphone jack, which allows us to still use traditional wired headphones without needing specific adapters. This feature is appreciated by many users, although it is slowly becoming extinct with the rise of Bluetooth-connected headphones. Regarding connections, it is a dual-SIM device. This allows us to use two different numbers simultaneously for calls and manage them according to our needs. Alternatively, it allows us to use one SIM card and a microSD card of up to 512GB to expand the phone's storage space. In this way, you can save more photos, videos, music, and other files without relying solely on the internal memory of the device. As for call reception and data connection, the Galaxy S10e usually offers good performance. In my long-term use, I have never encountered any particular issues, always having good phone reception and data connection for the internet. The only thing to note is that it supports 4G technology and not 5G, but it is still a valid and fast technology. Moving on to the display, the Samsung Galaxy S10e is equipped with a 5.8-inch AMOLED display, a slightly more compact size compared to the larger screens found in many modern smartphones but quite similar to an iPhone. However, this makes it a comfortable and manageable phone to use with one hand, making it easier to perform various tasks, such as typing messages or browsing the web. The display has a 60Hz refresh rate and not the 120Hz available today, but this does not negatively impact usability. Despite the smaller size, the AMOLED display offers excellent visual quality. The AMOLED technology provides deep blacks and vibrant colors, offering an engaging visual experience for watching videos and playing games. The reproduced colors are faithful and vivid, making images and texts well-defined and sharp. This is especially appreciated when viewing photos or videos, as the colors are rendered realistically with precise details. Regarding the processor, the S10e is equipped with an Exynos Octa-Core processor, accompanied by 6GB of RAM, which, despite being released a few years ago, still offers solid and smooth performance, allowing the system and applications to run quickly and without hiccups. The phone handles everyday tasks such as web browsing, messaging, social media apps, and multimedia playback without any problems. Even when switching between apps or multitasking, the Galaxy S10e maintains a fluid and responsive experience. I have not encountered any annoying lag or slowdowns, keeping its performance on par with more recent flagship devices. Let's move on to the cameras and I can tell you right away that this Galaxy still performs well. It is equipped with a dual rear camera system, consisting of a 12 megapixel main sensor and a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, along with a 10 megapixel front camera. Although these specifications may seem dated compared to more recent models, 
The cameras of the Galaxy S10e still deliver high-quality results with fast and precise autofocus. It allows you to capture sharp shots, even in low-light conditions or with moving subjects. Photos and 4K videos come out very well, although not at the levels of the latest generation of phones, but I can say that it can compete with and be better than mid-range devices. The weak point of the Samsung Galaxy S10e lies in its 3100 mAh battery, which may be limited for users who use the phone intensively. With prolonged use, especially with heavy apps, games, or videos, it is difficult to reach the end of the day with a maximum of 4 or 5 hours of screen time. In conclusion, can this phone still be considered valid today? In my opinion, yes, the Samsung Galaxy S10e can still be considered a valid phone today. It offers good performance, takes beautiful photos and videos, and its overall performance makes it a fully usable device without significant compromises. However, it is important to note that being from 2019, it no longer receives updates and remains on Android 12 and Samsung One UI 4.1. This means that it may lack access to new features and security improvements. Additionally, it's worth mentioning the limited battery life, which for intensive use may not last the full day. This could make the device less ideal for many users. And with that, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future tech updates. See you next time.